Whether it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month or not, we should always show our support, our compassion, and show love to those who need it the most. Remember that illness is year-round. this nail tutorial. Today's nail tutorial is going to be inspired by breast cancer awareness and I decided to do this nail tutorial outside only because it was a true inspiration to do this tutorial and it meant a lot to me. So um, just to show support and um, the inspiration was definitely you know meaningful and I feel that anybody that believes in something should support it such as you know supporting um, the cure for autism, AIDS, or breast cancer awareness or anything else that you feel uh, or that you believe in um, is very important to support only because we have to have each other's back even if you know you may not have some of these diseases um, it's always very important to support them because you know we can never exclude ourselves from what, what can happen in the future we need to support one another so um, I felt really really inspired and I felt really happy to do this nail tutorial and as you can see the nails that I'm doing today are a breast cancer awareness inspired so they do have have the pink ribbon logo um, they have a lot of pinks going on I added a little more sparkle and um, this one's called diamond dust and we created this on the website as a limited edition color um, just for this cause so it will be limited edition and any of the colors that will be sold in diamond dust all those proceeds will be going to breast cancer awareness so that's just while supplies last um, the color is absolutely beautiful and I'm really happy to be able to have done this tutorial I hope you all enjoy it as much as I did and keep on watching if you want to learn how to achieve nails like these. Alright so prior to filming I prepped my nails um, and I really really did a good job with that only because if you don't prep them properly they can lift. So we're going to go ahead and apply our nails. So now that the glue is dried off I'm going to go ahead and use my nail cutter and I'm going to go ahead and just cut the nail to the length that I would want my nail to be. Um, a little bit longer than what I would want them to be only because when you file them down and start shaping them They might go down just slightly. I'm not going to file down the nail You can do that so that the acrylics um, Adhere to the nail a little bit better I find that I can work with the acrylics a little bit easier when it's not filed down So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave them the way they are Lots of pinks which as you can see it is all tones of pinks so that's why we named it that and it's perfect for this tutorial and for the occasion so it's all tones of pinks it's absolutely beautiful a lot of bling going on with this one and then we made an exclusive one just for this tutorial um, it will be limited edition this one's going to be called diamond dust so it's going to be exclusive which means it will be limited edition and there will only be a certain amount of supply um, of this product I'm going to be taking my Kolinsky brush. This one's number eight. This one's just the basic brush. I'm not using my cute ones today. Um, my rhinestone or my imitation reptile. I don't know why. I just had this one handy. But um, they all work just as good. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two different nails only because, as you can see on my other hand, um, on all of the nails except the ring finger, I have a different design. So I wanted to show you how I got both designs. And we're going to go ahead and start with the middle finger here. We're going to go ahead and take lots of pinks and place a very thin layer of lots of pinks. Now, you definitely want to be, you know, very uh, thin with this unless you want thicker nails. You can do that. I'm going for a thinner look. And I'm not going to go ahead, I'm not going down to the smile line, um, but you can choose to do that if you want. I'm pretty much just doing a straight line with this, and I'm not going near the smile line with this color. Alright, so just like that. Then I'm going to be taking my uh, diamond dust. Just a very small pearl, literally very small. Making sure my brush is really wet for this. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it right by the smile line. And blend it in with lots of pinks. Just lightly, not too much. And then blend it down with the body of the brush. Kind of like 
half of the nail right pat right below uh, the smile line and then just blend it out lightly with the body of the brush wet your brush a little bit if you need to and it'll help you kind of move that glitter around a little bit so I'm just kind of making it into a fade I'm gonna go ahead and prep my nail using my Glam Couture nail primer this is a new primer that's professional uh, bond so it's a little bit stronger and you only need about two coats of this only because, you know, it's it's much, much stronger bond. So um, unless your nails lift a lot, um, you don't need more than two coats. Mine do because they're very oily. But um, if you don't have that problem, one or two coats is just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and take a medium-sized pearl of my Sparkle Nail Powder. Just like this. Very small, medium-sized. And I'm going to place it right on my nail bed using the brush as a barrier we're gonna go ahead and take this all around and then just lightly feather it down I'm gonna apply another small pearl right on the center of the nail just so that my nails nice and strong when I do chores or cleaning or anything like that I'll be good they won't break on me <laughs> So that's good right there. I don't want them too thick. Um, if you prefer them thick, you can definitely do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my clear nail powder now and take a medium-sized pearl, place it right over that sparkle nail powder, make it really nice and thin, take it from side to side, make sure you cover everything, and then just bring it down where the nail art is. So it didn't go all the way to the front, obviously, so what I'm gonna do is take another small pearl Place it right in the uh, tip of my nail, turn my finger around, and then lightly feather it down when it's a little stiffer rather than doing this right when the when we laid the acrylic there. Because then it'll be really watery and it could, you know, become a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and place another, you know, small size pearl in the center and do the same thing. And then grab another small pearl and place it right on the other side and do the same thing just so everything is nice and even. So I'm going to go ahead and um, place my primer now and I'm going to place three coats right on my nail. Okay and then I'm going to go ahead and take my diamond dust and place it right on my nail here. Place a very thin coat. Sorry, I'm still getting used to the name of this acrylic only because, you know, like I said, we just created this just for this occasion. Very special. And um, you just want to place a thin, thin layer here. And with the body of your brush, you're just blending it out. Now wipe your brush so it doesn't get hard and make sure you wet it. Now with the body of the brush, you want to go ahead and just kind of start doing a downward motion and do it very light-handed so that you get a really really nice fade if you're not light-handed you're gonna bring the whole acrylic down and it won't be a fade it'll just be a big mess so with the body of the brush just kind of bring it down you can wet the brush and it'll help you move the glitter around a little bit easier I'm gonna go ahead and take my sparkle nail powder a medium-sized pearl Place it right by the cuticle area. Remember to use your brush as a barrier. I'm letting that just set for a second and then I'm gonna work with it. Just take it side to side and then just lightly feather it down. Apply another medium sized pearl right on the center of the nail just so we can make our nail nice and strong and then just feather it out lightly. All right, and then I'm gonna place another medium-sized pearl right on the tip of the nail. Turn my hand around, distribute it from side to side evenly, and then feather it down lightly. And this will also give this diamond dust a nice pink undertone. Not too much of it, because once we file it down, some of that one will be removed, so it'll be very subtle. All right, so now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and let my acrylics dry before I start drilling my nail. So as soon as that's done, I will get right back to you all. 
All right, so now that my acrylics have dried out, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Mani Pro drill, and this one's in purple. And like I said in my other video, I really like this drill only because um, it has settings to go forward and reverse, and I really like that. And it does have a different, you know, uh, speed uh, control here, and um, it also has, you know, the bit holder, um, and it's just really lightweight, really nice. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and start, you know, filing down my nail. And I'm just getting really precise here right on the cuticle area. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take my rhinestones wheel here. They're not real crystals, but I love the fact that they have all sorts of colors and it's just the right size. I'll be using this um, medium sized shade of pink just so it really pops on the nails. And I'll be taking my Glam Couture UV Gel Sealer, placing a very thin coat of the UV Gel Sealer. And it's always best to apply one thin coat at a time rather than... Um, applying a very thick one just because it'll dry like plastic and it can um, once it cures it could actually you know make you lose the shape of the nail you had going so using my pink tweezers which are perfect for the occasion I'm gonna go ahead and start just applying these right on the nail and um, and then later on just you know start moving them around accordingly so just place them right on there randomly and I'm gonna start creating the shape of my ribbon all right, so now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a thin coat of UV gel sealer to all of my nails. All right, so now that I've applied a thin layer to all of my nails, I'm gonna go ahead and cure them in my uh, 36 watt lamp for about three minutes. Alrighty, so then I'm gonna apply one more thin coat and I'm gonna let them cure for another three minutes. Alright, so this is the final result. I really ended up loving these nails. I think the inspiration was absolutely great. And I think that the logo is just absolutely adorable. Look at that. Isn't that just so beautiful? And I think that, you know, you would catch tons of attention with these nails. Not to mention it's for a cause and the awareness. Um, but I was really inspired and I really ended up loving these nails. I can't wait to just wear them out and um, show them off because they're just so beautiful. Um, and they have my favorite color. So thank you all so much for watching this tutorial, for all of the support. I greatly appreciate it. I will see y'all very soon with more tutorials. Thanks. See y'all soon. Bye.